Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I am honored to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Yigong Sha. Today is October 7, 2016, and today we will be focusing on opening the spiritual channels and the soul communication abilities via the five major energy centers. So that's for all of you that are just here for the first few seconds. So I encourage you to stay the full hour. This is one of many in a series that I will be doing over the next week or two, uh, specific to opening up our soul communication and soul communication channels. <clears throat> There's a method to how this can be done in a natural and healthy way. So my encouragement to you is to uh, stick around, not just watch the first few minutes of this, but stay the entire time. You might decide it's a great value to your soul journey. <coughs> Excuse me. And so welcome everybody is starting to come in very quickly. Wonderful. Welcome Ari. Welcome Chrissy. Uh, welcome Carol. And I saw that photo of you recently, Chrissy, on Facebook. Very nice. Um, welcome Elizabeth. Welcome Michelle. And also uh, Anne Maria has joined us. Kristen Rojas. And more people are coming online as we go. So yesterday we focused on the, uh, the beginning aspects of soul communication, the power and significance of it, how it can be used to be of service to others. We talked about some of the basics about how everyone and everything has a soul and that every soul speaks the same language. It's called soul language. However, every soul, when they speak that language, it might come out a little bit different. Today, I don't think I'm going to be covering how to reveal and open your soul language. We'll see how the day goes. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and, and to open your soul language, actually, to do it over live stream like this, it's going to be very, very interesting. Normally, it's done in a group environment where, um, uh, where I can see what's happening with that person. There's, a, there's an actual ability for me to hear if their soul language has actually come out. So most likely, uh, I will prepare you for what to do, give you some time to practice it, and then we'll try it live in a group environment, see what happens. So welcome, Patricia. Welcome, Eleanor. Welcome, Shari. And uh, welcome <coughs> also, Linda Jansen. Suki has joined us early morning in India. Esther, haven't seen you in a while. Great to see you. And Carol has joined us. And Ilona, wonderful to see you all. So uh, referring back to the teachings from yesterday, what, what is the foundation of soul communication is so that we can actually start communicating more with the soul world. We are a soul first. That's first and foremost to understand. We are not this physical presence. We think we are, but we're a soul first having a physical experience. And so soul communication is about reconnecting to that originalness that we are. Reconnecting to our heavens teams that are literally all around us. Reconnecting to um, the guides, angels, and saints that are all willing to give us guidance. You personally can talk to Jesus, probably do every day, but you can also hear an answer when you have your soul communication channels open. Same thing, you can talk to God, you can hear an answer. The only difference <clears throat> when people have come to, to follow my live stream, they enjoy the flows that I offer, they enjoy the soul readings. Guys, I'm not special. I, I just studied just like I'm suggesting to you and I did the practices. And so what I will be teaching you is the things that I did. I applied it, applied it consistently every day under a structured program. And I'm not saying that you're interested in going that far, but the point is it is something that is available to every person that is a human being because we're all made up of the same stuff. We all have the same energy system. We all have the same chakra systems. And we all have the same five major energy centers that I'll be talking a bit more about today <clears throat> that will all assist you in opening your spiritual channels. So again, I uh, want to acknowledge a few more uh, people for coming in and then welcome Yannin. And Stephanie has joined us as well. And I see you have a new image, Stephanie, on your, uh, your photo. <coughs> Excuse me. So... Let us start by connecting heart to heart, soul to soul, placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, which is one hand uh, dropped to the heart center, the other hand pointed towards heaven, left hand over the heart center. This connects heaven directly to our heart center. That's why it's called the soul service 
soul light, soul service hand position. And if you remember yesterday, we talked about the beginning of the soul light era when all things soul are coming to humanity. And so we'll talk more about that today. So close your eyes. Dear all layers of the divine, all layers of the Tao, all layers of source, original creator, dear our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, dear all masters, ascendant masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, <coughs> angels, healing angels, and archangels, Buddhas, bodhisattvas, dear beloved Buddha, dear beloved Kuan Yin, dear beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, we love you, we love you, we love you, we honor you, respect you, bow down to you as appropriate. We invite you to please be with us here today, to go to everybody's message center, come to sit in everybody's heart center, and bless us as we do any practices today to open our soul communication more. We are so very, very honored and grateful. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, we love you, honor you, and truly appreciate you. We ask that you please turn on in all souls, and that you, as we chant you today, to please serve all souls unconditionally. We ask that as we chant any time in our lifetime, that you bless us to open our soul communication channels more, that we can be of better service, that we can hear heaven correctly, hear our soul correctly, that we can make better choices in our life. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. If you know the Source Soul Song, Love, Peace, and Harmony, please sing along. If you do not, keep your eyes closed and enjoy the blessing. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, li, lula. O I, O Shin, her ling. O I, Tran, ran, lay. Wong, li, hing, rung, her, mu, shu, shung. Shong, I, ping, on, a, she. Shong, I, ping, on, a, she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. One more time. Keep your eyes closed. Feel the heavens love for you. They're all around you. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo, I, wo, shin, her, ling. Why tread and lay? Wong li ying rong her mu shi shang shang ai ping on a she shang ai ping on a she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. <coughs> Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. And a request for Hawaiian. Aloha mai iau. Eloha kako apau, e pihili mai puvai kakao, aloha malie lo kahi, aloha malie lo kahi. How, 
How, how, thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> this song is now actually available in 50 languages. It is quickly spreading around the world, and people are starting to chant it, uh, especially children. Children immediately, they know the power of a soul song. They know the power and significance, and they know that they feel better when they chant it. <coughs> so my encouragement to all of you is to click on the links that Kristen has posted uh, on this timeline and become familiar with the song, download it, chant it, take it to work, put it on volume one, it will change your work environment. Take it to any of the friends that are sick, it will help them to feel healthier. Uh, ask it to serve you and your family, it will serve you and your family. It is an amazing, amazing healing song. So welcome again to um, uh, everyone that's joined. Stephanie's joined us, Magdalena Mira has joined us, great to see you Magdalene. Uh, Yvonne and Eleanor, great to see you Eleanor. And Mel Gittens, good to see you Mel. Pamela Dennis Isles, I'm not sure if I've seen you here before, Pamela, if I haven't, uh, if I haven't acknowledged you, please forgive me. And Elizabeth uh, and Johnny has joined us. So thank you all so much for joining today. <clears throat> As indicated, today is about soul communication. So I want to do some highlights on yesterday, and then uh, we're going to again do a message center heart opening practice, because that's very, very important every day to open your soul communication abilities. So uh, I'm going to offer um, highlight and flow on, on what I remember. might not make sense some of it, but I'll go step by step so you kind of understand the patterns. So soul communication is uh, something that everyone uh, can accomplish. Every soul can talk to other souls. Part of it is the ability to hear and translate what is being said. Children speak soul language. Uh, animals speak soul language. Everyone and everything has a soul and they can all speak soul language. The ability to connect to that soul language is literally directly related to the ability for us to open up our energy body. The human body is built the same. We all have seven chakras, we all have an energy system, and we all have blockages. The blockages are almost always karmic related. Well, they're called Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages. That means soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages. And a great deal of them are related to uh, karmic blockages, which come into the manifest form of mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego attachments, imbalanced emotions, and physical suffering, financial suffering, relationship suffering. All of these have karmic base to them and they impact our physical body in such a way where we're, in essence, we're thick. We're thick in our inability to have that perfect health that we'd like. We're thick uh, with these blockages in our inability to connect to heaven and talk to Jesus, talk to God on a daily basis and hear them clearly. These kinds of blockages are clearable. That's the great news. I searched the majority of my life before I found uh, a couple of different modalities that helped me to start clearing these uh, thick blockages, if you will. And so this is the process of what I'll be sharing with you over the next few weeks, step by step. What are the five major energy centers and what is their relationship to soul communication and opening your channels? Uh, and then going into next week, probably towards the latter half of next week, I'll be focusing on each individual soul communication channel. I touched on them yesterday. I'll remind you again today. There is the soul language channel, which is actually opening up and speaking your soul's language. Uh, I will give you uh, an example of mine uh, in a little while so you hear what soul language sounds like. Um, soul language can be changed into soul song, which is extraordinary. It is, can be so beautiful, soul song. Uh, you can heal, literally heal others, uh, animals, pets, things like that, with your soul language. And the simple reason why is because it's not your frequency, it's your soul's frequency, which is substantially higher than this physical plane that you're living on. So another aspect of soul language that <clears throat> that is important to understand is that, oh, excuse me, another aspect of soul communication is that there are four channels. So the first one being soul language, the second being the translation, the ability to translate. Um, that takes time and it usually takes, uh, if you want to facilitate a, a ability to translate well, it's good to receive divine services, a crown chakra blessing, a soul operation, something that clears the blockages a lot faster. 
These, these are, are available to any of Dr. and Master Shah's worldwide representatives. I am one of them, but there's about a hundred on the planet and Dr. Master Shah himself. Um, we have some very unique abilities to clear some of these blockages which allow these abilities to come out. If you've watched some of the flows that I do and you've heard some of them, uh, some of you have commented ab about how amazing they are. I bow down to my teacher and spiritual father, Master Shah, because he's the one that gave me crown chakra blessings. He's the one that gave me spiritual services. They cleared the blockages that I could communicate in such a way. So these are now uh, abilities that I have that I can serve others with. So thank you, Master Shah. So when we look at opening up our soul communication abilities, it's really about clearing the karmic blockages in most cases. Uh, and it has a direct relationship to our chakra system, our seven soul houses as they're called in the, in the uh, uh, wisdom that we work with, that, that I teach with Master Shah's soul-based wisdom. And um, the, there, so I want to clarify something because it might be a little confusing at this point. So we're going to be talking about five major energy centers. I'll go over them specifically in a minute. Energy centers, an actual energy center, not a chakra. There's also the seven chakras, which we use the terminology soul houses. Everyone has seven chakras. Okay? Those do affect your communication abilities. And then the other thing I spoke of earlier are four spiritual channels. Soul language channel, translation channel, third eye channel, and the uh, divine direct knowing channel. So those are three separate things that I will be covering over the course of time here. Uh, one, two, three weeks. I don't know how long it'll take to cover them all. Uh, welcome Lynn Hill from New Zealand. Great to see you. Welcome Tawana. Welcome Jennifer. And Katie Aaron has joined us. Great to see you all. Love you all. <coughs> and so um, today I'm focusing on more of the five major energy centers. We're going to talk about the four spiritual channels more down the road. We're going to talk about the seven uh, chakras and their associations, all of these associations to opening the soul communication abilities. Okay. So yesterday we focused mostly on opening the heart center, which again in Master Shah's teaching is called the message center. The heart center is a foundational energy center. It is one of five major energy centers. The three major foundational ones are your lower Dantian, which we're going to do today, the message center, and the uh, Kundalini, also known as the snow mountain area. So those are those called the foundational energy centers. And then there's two more that make up the five, which is the Zhu Chao, right here in between the eyebrows, and the third eye in the center of the brain next to the uh, pineal gland. We're going to be working on those a little bit later. Today, we're going to focus on message center and lower Dantian. Uh, I'm going to do I'm going to do a flow. Um, yeah, I'll do the flow after we do the practices as to the significance of these centers in relationship to opening your uh, spiritual channels more. Okay. So message center. Here in the center of the chest, um, it's approximately right where the chest plate is, <clears throat> in between the nipples, right where your chest plate is. And if you're, a, if you're a woman that has aged a little bit, your nipples might have fallen down a little bit. Uh, so imagine when you were younger, right there, okay? And so hopefully that made you laugh. Um, so when we uh, look, when we think about the message center, this center is our karma center. It's our emotion center. How many of you have blocked emotions or emotions that you, you think you're over and then they come back and then you think you're over and then they come back? That's blockages here in many cases. There is some association to the other organs, but a lot of times it's right here. Okay. Uh, it is the center for enlightenment. When the soul sits here, we have reached the first level of enlightenment. There are many levels, but that's the first level. Uh, it is also the center for our communication to the soul world, which is why it's so important, which is why we're going to do this practice now. All right. So we always use four powers. Um, yeah, four powers, right? You see how many? Four. Four powers. Body power, mind power, sound power, soul power. Mind power, people have heard about, creative visualization, not new information. But when you apply it, it helps. And we're going to apply all four at the same time, which dramatically increases your ability to clear the blockages. There is body power. 
Where you place your hands is where the energy flows. Common sense, but a lot of us are actually not overly familiar with uh, body mudras and how we place them in proper positions. If you look at some of the images of the Buddhas, where are their hands? Some are like this, right? They have one hand like this, one hand like this. They have different body postures and where they put their fingers together. These are called mudras and they absolutely impact the flow of energy in the human body. So we're going to be using specific body postures today to assist with the clearing of these blockages. There is what's called sound power. Most of you know that sound heals. So we're going to be applying a sound power, which I'll check with Divine Flow as to what to do. And then we're going to use soul power. Soul power is the newest power that has been brought to humanity. As indicated yesterday, August 8, 2000 and, uh, August, yeah, August 8 2003, uh, is the new era, the soul light era, in which all things soul are coming to humanity. And in that soul light era, there is all things soul, including soul communication. Now, when we do this, and we do soul power, it's very much like saying hello. Everything has a soul. Dogs have soul, trees have soul, everything has a soul, your heart, your brain, everything. And why? Because it's made up of the divine. It's made up of the God's energy and matter. Therefore, it has a soul. So we want to communicate with that soul. If you have a sore lower back, the soul of your back has probably been getting negative messages. I have a bad back. Is that a positive message or is that a negative message? So when we communicate lovingly to our body parts and our heart message center, we're going to have far better results. Another form of soul communication is talking to God, Jesus, Buddha, Mother Mary, and everyone else. So when we connect with the soul world, internal souls of the message center, external world of the holy beings, we're going to have a substantially greater impact. So again, four powers, body power, mind power, sound power, and soul power. So let's do this. So where you're at, sit up straight, back away from the back of the chair. Body power, we're going to place one hand over our heart center, one hand over the lower abdomen. It does not matter which hand, and if one gets tired, you can switch, that's okay. But when you place your hand over your body, gentle, cupped, relaxed, don't push, let energy flow, okay? So this will be your body power. Yesterday, we did a little different one. So I'm showing you some divine flexibility so that you know it doesn't have to be exact every time. <clears throat> um, sound power. We're going to use a healing ball that was transmitted. Uh, it comes from heaven. And it was a healing ball that was given to uh, in my teacher's name. He, of course, did not want to receive it. You know, he was, he was talking with the divine and divine said, I want to create a healing ball so you can serve humanity. And he said, I want to call it Shaw's Golden Healing Ball. <clears throat> my teacher's like, you know, I appreciate it, God, but I really don't want a healing ball in my name because then people will think, you know, the wrong things. God said, well, that's too bad. I'm going to call it Shaw's Golden Healing Ball. And so, and he created it. So it's in heaven. We're going to ask it to come to sit in our heart center. And it's a golden ball that has the ability to expand and shrink and has the ability to change into anything and clear blockages. It's heaven's ball. Um, it's, it's God's healing ball. They just happen to name it after the teacher. So we're going to visualize that Shaw's Golden Healing Ball and we're going to chant that as well as other chants to grow our message center and clear blockages. I'm going to walk you through an actual visualization to clear the blockages in your message center. So please <clears throat> be fully present because this is going to be really powerful. I'm also going to turn on some of my treasures and ask them to serve you. So you're definitely going to get some blessings today. Okay. Soul power. Repeat after me. Dear the soul of my message center, I love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you. Please forgive me for complaining, for gossiping, for saying and thinking negative things. Please forgive me for not listening to heaven well. Please forgive me for any unpleasant emotions that I may have had that have caused you to close your heart. I love you and you have the ability to heal yourself, to open yourself up, to clear 
the blockages and to become fully open to soul communication. Do a great job. Thank you. Now we talk to the outer souls. So continue to repeat after me. Dear Creator, Dear all Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Lamas, Sifus, Gurus, Saints, Dear all Saints, Animals, Dear Angels, Healing Angels, and Archangels, Dear my Heavens team, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Can you please bless my message center to fully open to clear blockages that keep me from opening my soul communication. Thank you. One more request. Repeat after me. Dear Shah's Golden Healing Ball, can you please come from heaven, come to sit in my message center, my heart center. Bless me to clear the blockages as best as possible. Thank you. Okay. Now, for visualization, close your eyes. See Shah's Golden Healing Ball in your heart center spinning. It can spin any direction it wants to. Completely up to you. And you might see it get bigger and smaller. I'm going to walk you through a visualization as we go. Okay? <clears throat> Close your eyes. Visualize. Let us begin. Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Shah's Golden Healing Ball 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 Opens my message center, Shah's golden healing ball. 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 Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Now you continue to chant silently or out loud where you are, and I will start to walk you through a visualization. Continue to chant. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. See this golden orb in the center of your chest glowing brightly especially in the very center it is exceedingly bright it is almost difficult to see how bright it is because it glows so great see the direction this golden orb is spinning notice that as it spins it is literally whipping golden light in every direction it is literally clearing karmic blockages as it spins a little bit faster, zzz, 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 spitting off darkness, clearing darkness, opening your heart center. Zzz, 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 zzz. See it spinning faster, faster. See it spinning faster, faster. Continue to relax your breath. Be in your lower abdomen in your breath. Be in your heart center in your thoughts. See it spinning faster, 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 faster. Brighter, 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 brighter. See it spinning. Darkness is literally melting away, flying away. Financial blockages clearing. Relationship blockages clearing. Emotional blockages clearing. Zzz, 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 zzz. Brighter, brighter, brighter. And you see light coming in from each direction through your feet from the top of your head going into this golden light ball making it brighter, 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 brighter. Zzz, 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 zzz. And now you start to see this golden light ball. It's starting to expand. 
is starting to expand to reach the size of your entire chest, clearing darkness, zzz, zzz, clearing darkness, zzz, zzz. golden light ball, Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, keep chanting, keep chanting. Zzz, zzz, brighter, brighter, as big as your chest, brighter, 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 brighter. Keep yourself relaxed, brighter, 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 brighter. See it radiating into your neck and shoulders, clearing blockages. Zzz, 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 zzz. See it radiating down into your lower abdomen, clearing blockages, getting bigger, 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 brighter, brighter, brighter. Zzz, 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 zzz. Shah's golden healing ball, 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 Shah's golden healing ball. See it expanding to cover your head, spinning, clearing blockages in every one of the 25 trillion cells in your brain. They're all getting bathed in this golden light as it spins, zzz, zzz, clearing darkness, making you more intelligent, brighter, brighter, zzz, zzz. It's going down into your hips, your legs, zzz, zzz, zzz. clearing blockages, clearing blockages, zzz, zzz. Expand this golden ball to the size of your body, spinning. Light coming in from every direction. This golden orb is like a magnet for light. All kinds of light just finds its way to it as it's spinning. Zzz, zzz. You look at your body inside this golden light ball and you can barely see your body. It is so pure and so clear. Notice how pure and clear your body is. If you see any darkness anywhere, ask the golden light ball to focus on that area. Spinning, spinning. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, clears all blockages, clears all blockages, Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball. And as you see how pure and clear your blood, your skin, your heart, your brain, Everything in your body is much clearer now. Start to feel the Divine's love for you. Feel God's love. Now it is much clearer to receive. Thank you, Divine. Thank you for bringing me to this planet. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my parents. Thank you for my spouse. Thank you for my health. Thank you for my ability to see. Thank you, God. Thank you for my ability to hear the bird songs, to hear this communication. Thank you for the opportunity to hear the pets meow and bark. Thank you for the opportunity to enjoy all that nature has to offer. Thank you for the ability to walk. Thank you for all that I have. Please forgive me for any complaining that I have ever done to you, my beloved God. Please forgive me for this in all lifetimes. I have not honored and appreciated all that I have. <clears throat> Please forgive me for closing my heart again and again to you and to other souls when I was hurt and when I was in pain. Please God bless me to open my heart <clears throat> that I can send my love to others. And we're going to start opening our heart now to send our love and you're going to now make this golden ball as big as the room you're in. And as you make it big, send your love Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball. Send your love. Now grow this to the size of the house that you're in, the apartment that you're in. Grow this golden ball as big as the room and the house that you're in. See it getting bigger, sending out your love 
to everything in the area. All the pets, all the chairs, the refrigerator, the beds, everything is receiving your love. Shah's Golden Healing Ball, Shah's Golden Healing Ball, Shah's Golden Healing Ball. Expand now. Keep expanding out. Go down the street. Your golden light ball is from the center of your heart, expanding to the size of the streets. It's going out now to the city that you're in, to the township or the countryside that you're in, expanding out passing other people's homes, passing other people's mailboxes. Animals are looking up. What is that light? People stop and they say, what is that feeling of love that I have? Because you are sending your love to them. Continue to expand it out past the size of your city. Expand it out. Continue to go to the size of your country. Bless all of the souls in your country. Send them your greatest love. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball. See this ball spinning, spinning, spinning. Give your love. Expand it to other countries across the water. See it expanding. See it growing. See it clearing the darkness with your love. Just your love. Send it to humanity. See it growing until it's the size of Mother Earth. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. There are people that are putting down their guns because of this love that you're sending. There are people that are stopping in the street and giving money and food to those in need because of your love. Because at that moment, your love hit them. They woke up. Continue to send your love to Mother Earth. Dear the soul of Mother Earth, please forgive me for any time I have not honored you, any time I have taken advantage of you, any time I have not done my part in keeping you clean. I love you, beloved Mother Earth. Thank you for your oxygen. Thank you for your life-giving water. Thank you for all that you do for me. Send your greatest love to Mother Earth. Open your heart. Open your heart. <clears throat> All my message center treasures, every download treasure I've ever received from my message center, please turn on. Please radiate to everybody on the line right now, everybody watching this in the future. During the entire time of this video, send them blessings to open their message center as appropriate. Transmission. Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball, Shah's golden healing ball. Now let's expand through past Mother Earth, going out into the galaxy, to the moon, past the Venus, past Mars, going out to Neptune, Uranus, Venus. Keep going out to all of this universe. Expand beyond this universe to the next universe. Your message center is the center. Your heart center is the center of this light ball expanding through all universes. And there are souls on other planets that say, Wow, what is that love that I am feeling? Wow, that's coming from one soul on Mother Earth. I will send them blessings back. What a beautiful soul to have sent this love so far to the outer reaches of the universe. Continue to send your love. See the golden light spinning. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Shah's golden healing ball. Now start as you bring it back in. All of the souls are sending you their love. And you gather their love into your heart. From all of the outer universes. All the planets have a soul. They're giving you their love. All the solar systems have a soul. They're giving you their love. Bring it gently back towards Mother Earth, gathering all of the love from all of the planets, stars, galaxies, and universes, all of the souls that are on the planet, stars, galaxies, and universes, bringing that love back to you. Bring it back to the size of Mother Earth. Continue. Now, Mother Earth is giving you her love 
her gratitude, her incredible mothering nurturing is healing your heart. Feel Mother Earth's love. Feel the color in her trees. Feel the purity of her water streams. Feel the groundedness of her earth coming to your heart center. All of the countries are blessing you with deepest gratitude for blessing their country. All of the cities, towns are blessing you for blessing the cities and towns. The billions of people are blessing you with their love because you gave them love. Draw it back to your heart center. Come back to the size of the house that you're in. Come back to the size of the room you're in. Come back to your body. <clears throat> this golden light ball is the size of your body. It's the size of your body. And as you condense it down to your heart center, it becomes brighter and more condensed. Brighter and more condensed golden light. It's spinning in your heart center now. The entirety of your chest is this golden, solid light ball that nothing can permeate. No darkness can permeate. It is impossible. It is impossible. Only love is here in your heart center. Now send a beam of light to your lower abdomen about 12 inches down. Go below your belly button about two and a half inches, straight down from your heart center, beam of light, and bring your thoughts, your hands, and your breath into your lower abdomen. The golden light ball is still spinning in your heart center but your focus now is in your lower abdomen. And you see this beam of light starting to build a golden light ball there. There is so much love, so much light in your heart center, it is making this center in your lower abdomen bigger and bigger and brighter and brighter until it is the size of your fist, golden light. Chant with me with your focus on your lower abdomen. Chant Jo, 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 Jo vibrates this area. Jo, 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 Jo. See the light getting brighter. Jo, 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 Jo. The ball's getting bigger in your lower abdomen. Jo, 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 Jo. Golden light, golden light, golden light, golden light, golden light, golden light, golden light. Golden light. Jo 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 is a number that vibrates this area. Jo 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 Clearing blockages, clearing blockages. Jo 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 See the light in your golden ball in your lower abdomen spinning, 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 brighter, 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 brighter. Clearing blockages, reaching out to your kidneys, reaching out to your intestines. As it spins, it wipes away any darkness. Zzz, 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 zzz. See the golden light ball in your lower abdomen, brighter, stronger. Jo, 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 Feel yourself getting hotter, hotter, hotter. Jo, 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 jo. It's clearing the blockages. Jo, 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 jo. Light, 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 light. Jo 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 jo. Continue to chant. Light, 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 light. Silently. See the light ball spinning. Chant light silently. See the bright light in your lower abdomen. Bright light. Condensed light in this lower abdomen. Brighter, 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 more condensed, more condensed, brighter, brighter, bigger, bigger. Your whole lower abdomen, you almost feel pregnant from so much light, 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 
light jo 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 light 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 jo 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 light 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 all my downloads and treasures from my lower abdomen snow mountain area lower dantian turn on radiate to everybody offer them blessings to boost power to their lower dantian lower abdomen as appropriate Jo 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 light 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 jo 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 light 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 jo 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 light 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 boost my boost my dantian boost my dantian boost power 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 keep visualizing you now have two golden orbs, one in your message center, one in your lower abdomen. Visualizing the lower abdomen, brighter, 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 brighter. Boost power, 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 boost power. Light, 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 your body what are you feeling did you notice the crown chakra above your head open up does it feel itchy above your head do you notice if you are hot and sweating do you notice if you are vibrating what is going on in your body what is your stress level now what is your emptiness level now And when you are ready, please open your eyes and share this experience for you. This is two of three foundational energy practices. Message Center and Lower Don Tian. The Lower Don Tian I did not give any teachings on. It is a foundational energy center. It is a very closely related to the second soul house or second chakra. It is the energy center for stamina, vitality, and immunity. When we build this every day, it's much more difficult for us to get sick. And what happens is a great deal of humanity, we have what I refer to as the upside-down pyramid syndrome. <coughs> Excuse me. And what I mean by that is we're top-heavy. We're, we're filled with emotions and worry and, oh, my God, oh, this, oh, that. Now everything's upside down, and we can't seem to find that ground. And that's because we're very much like a pyramid that I can't, can't form an upside down pyramid uh, that is upside down. So how do we fix that? We ground ourselves by doing foundational base energy practices. We bring heaven's energy in. All stars, planets, galaxies, and universes energy. We bring it into our foundational energy center, lower Dantian. All martial arts focus on bringing power to the lower abdomen. <clears throat> if you have... Um, uh, constipation issues, if you have blockages with anything related to the, to the intestines, if you have uh, kidney issues, then this is all lower foundation weakness. You're not doing energy practices for this area. When you open the message center like we did, when you boost power to, this, to the lower foundation like we did, what in essence you're doing is you're building a base by which heaven can then give you messages because the soul communication abilities <clears throat> are related to the openness of our channels and the clearing of the blockages in our entirety of our body. We have the seven chakras, we have the, uh, uh, the five major energy centers, and we have the four spiritual channels. All of them can carry blockages. So we're working on them one by one by one. So when you do the practices like this, what you're doing is you're disallowing the monkey mind and all the busyness and all the fears and all the worries to take control. You're taking control of your life and your energy body. You're bringing it down. You're creating a strong base of your pyramid of your body, if you will. So you have a sharp point up here. So you have a, a, a peak point by which heaven can bring energy through your crown chakra and distribute it evenly and squarely, perfectly. You have cleared your message center so you can hear the messages clearly and well. So the purpose of, of boosting and building our foundational energy centers and, and the five major centers is for this reason. 
So each one of the practices all have, really have the same reason behind it. <clears throat> but each one also has its own individual value. For example, the lower Dan Tien, uh, for, for identification purposes, it's approximately an inch and a half below your belly button and roughly two and a half inches inside your body. Uh, and that's, like I said, very, very related to your second energy center, uh, second chakra. But when you take the time to boost this on a daily basis, the propensity of headaches becomes very diminished. Why? Because you've reversed the pyramid. Headache means too much energy up here. Very simple. Do the foundational energy practices. Same thing for um, high blood pressure. You start doing practices down here, you're probably going to have a reduction in your high blood pressure. No promises, but it's a reasonable possibility given that you're bringing the energy down. Okay? And there's so many other benefits that come with it, including uh, boosting power of your immune system. Because down here is where your adrenals are, that's where your kidneys are. This whole area is boosting your, your, your uh, immune system. When we use our brain a lot, when we use our, 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 our upper faculties a lot, it drains the kidneys, it drains the, the lower area. This lower area of your body is your engine. If, you, <clears throat> if your engine dies, you're not gonna go very far. If you're not boosting power to your engine, then all the upper apparatus up here is not going to work very well, guys. So there's all these foundational reasons for doing these practices. These are just some of them, okay? I'm going to read some of the responses now. And we have some newer people coming in a little late. I encourage all of you to watch this entire uh, video again as you will get huge benefits in boosting your foundational energy center, opening your heart center, and preparing yourself for better soul communication. Uh, so welcome, Marina. Uh, Carol responded, she's burning up, strong waves, and somewhat nauseated. Very interesting response. These are all actually excellent, excellent acknowledgments of the movement of blocked energy. Blocked energy will do that. I opened your heart center first, and then I brought your energy down. Okay? You don't want to, you always want to spend at least two minutes uh, grounding yourself after you do a heart opening practice. We spent about 10 minutes grounding ourselves, boosting power. But it was so much movement because we used Shaw's Golden Healing Ball, so much movement in this practice that debris has been clearing. Drink water, guys. Make sure you drink water. <laughs> okay? Drink a lot of it. You'll it's very possible some of you might feel a little nauseated after something like this because we're using heaven's light. We're using real power to really clear the blockages in our physical body. This is not child stuff. This is stuff that will bring you to a much higher level on your soul journey than you ever thought possible if you do the practices on a consistent basis. Okay? So a few more uh, comments. Welcome, Mushika. Um, Johnny says, hola, Kristen. Kristen's responding back and forth. Marina, ah, love and light to all. Nancy says, crown chakra open and vibrating and calmer. Great observation, Nancy. Uh, Felix responds, Sp uh, strong cleansing is happening. And Felix came in a little bit late, and he's already receiving some benefits. Um, Esther responds, vibration hot body. First time to see a golden ball. First time. Wow, great. Great observation, Esther. Uh, but for a few moments only. Okay, now watch your response, Esther. This is important for everyone to learn this, me this message from. When we see anything, any form of a third eye image, the appropriate response is, thank you, heaven. I am so honored to have seen this image. It doesn't matter if you saw waves. It doesn't matter if you saw an inkling of a green flash. It matters not. If you saw something, you say, thank you. Heaven says, oh, my son, my daughter, they appreciate that we're giving them something, that we're assisting them with opening their spiritual channels. We will give them more. If you say, oh, all I, all I saw was this, heaven says, oh, there's no gratitude. We'll let them wait. Spiritual teachings, very important. Okay. Hi, Kathy. Uh, welcome. Thanks for coming. Janet, thank you for coming. Uh, Yvonne, very hot feelings, full in her abdomen, tingling on her crown, vibration all over. Wonderful. So what do you think is going to happen if you do more of this? Good things. <clears throat> Keep coming back every day. Linda, vibrating, hot, calm, crown chakra buzzing. Thank you. You're very welcome. Shauna has joined. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Nahir, you're welcome, Nahir. Eleanor, still feeling the golden ball in the heart center and lower abdomen, feeling light, not heavy in the lower abdomen now. 
Wonderful observation. Great observation, Eleanor. Uh, Elizabeth, body vibrating and heaviness in both ears, hearing buzzing in the ears. Okay, so that's related to the kidneys. Kidneys and the ears are directly related according to um, traditional Chinese medicine. And so you might have some kidney related uh, blockages that are in the process of clearing. So um, good observation there. Uh, Johannes, uh, I'm cleaning with sound. Good, excellent. Letting everything out. And then Johnny, uh, feeling warmth and stillness, more calmness. Definitely watch the video more. <coughs> yeah, thank you, Ruchika. I will drink more water. Mahalo for that. So I suspect Facebook's going to cut me off pretty soon. I got about five minutes left here. So um, please be aware that spiritual services are available to clear the blockages sooner, better, faster. As I said earlier, um, I've always been just a regular Joe that's been on a spiritual journey just like all of you. I happen to find a really talented master, Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha, uh, drsha.com is his website. And basically, with, with his 20 books and his one-on-one -on -one practices, uh, I, I got to the point where I could understand a lot what the purpose of this energy body was, how to open it. I received from him... Uh, um, crown chakra blessings which now I can offer to you I received from him soul operations to clear the blockages in the heart center and other places which now these things I can offer to you because I've taken the eight or nine years to clear these lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes of blockages I, I, I paid you know hundreds and sometimes more uh, thousands of dollars but as a result I can now be a much better servant to humanity but if you just want to clear your blockages so that you can stop being in depression or stop being in pain, um, that's what divine services are for. You can do it on your own through these practices and most likely you'll feel better. But if they keep coming back, then you might want to look at divine services. If you're on a fast track and you want to open your spiritual channels, open your third eye, open the other spiritual channels more. Um, receive divine protection so that when you open these things up, um, the blockages don't come back. Then you want to look into the divine services. They are listed on my website. I don't actually list them, each one of them as there's just too many of them. But for example, the heart center. I recommend to everybody, get a, a soul mind body transmission system for your message center. This guy is like the most important part of your entire energy body, period. There's nothing more important than your heart center. And if you can have a, a healing and transmission system, light comes in, darkness can't stay, it flies out, uh, transmission is sent for a uh, light wall protection, uh, the, the darkness just can't come back, that's a beautiful thing. <clears throat> you get new energy and matter that is karma free in the energy center. I have offered these many times and the results are very often astounding. I had one lady I offered it to and her back pain went away. Her back pain was caused by all of her emotions. She was she's really, really emotional person, had lots of labels for those emotions, but a lot of it was stuck here. She received the blessing. She still hasn't had any back pain return. It, it's just amazing how many things can occur when we have blockages in this area. <clears throat> the honor fee is listed on my website, asoulhealer.com, for the healing and transmission system, for the soul operations, the crown chakra blessings. Um, no need to talk about. I just want you to know if you're interested in these kinds of blessings to transform your soul journey faster, to, um, to assist in your healing abilities faster. These same things apply to pain in the body. Why suffer when you can be done with it in a short period of time? So I'm so happy to serve you. You know what I'm happiest about? We well, got up to 40 people and you stayed. That makes my heart sing. That means that you're here for the right reasons. You're not just dipping in and say, ah, not for me. Love you all for that. This will be continuing. We're going to be going into other energy centers, all the different chakra systems, the different uh, seven, uh, excuse me, the different uh, 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 four major channels for connecting to heaven. Each day you're going to get more blessings. Each day you're going to get more wisdom. Each day I'm here to serve you. Monday through Friday, make sure you tell your friends about it. And I will see you tomorrow. Uh, sorry, well, tomorrow's this weekend. I'm going to enjoy the weekend. I will see you on Monday, okay? Bye-bye.